Did you know that they had special ovens to make bread on in the past? They're called tanurs and we're making one in our garden, so come and join us. Welcome to Iranian Woman, where me and my mom get up to all kinds of things and take you along for the ride. As you know, me and my mom recently moved to a village house and we've renovated it. We felt like one of the experiences of living in a village house is making traditional bread. And, you know, you can make traditional bread at home, but to get the full experience, you need a tanur. So my mom decided to make one for us. Alright guys, this is our oven. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe and... No, I'm just kidding. But this is the base for our oven. Now what they used to do in the past was that they buried these underground so the heat wouldn't escape. But, um, you know, as time passed, they realized that, oh, this is really hard. We have to sit on the ground and, like, work. and It's just really difficult. So what they're doing now is that instead of burying this vase-looking thing underground, they're bringing the ground up around it. This beautiful lady over here is my mom. You can call her Sume. And the reason why she's standing here moving the bricks around is because she wanted the bricks to go all the way to the end next to the column that's there. The other guy is Builder Guy, and um, sometimes he decides things on his own. And uh, yeah, my mom uh, wanted these to go her way, so she's just standing there like a police officer. Next, Builder Guy covered the bricks around the oven with some tiles. Alright, so he cut a line on this one, right? And then, did you see how easily they broke after it? So the space between the oven and the brick wall was covered with these tiny stones. The thing about these stones is that they're the same kind of stones that are used in bakeries, except these bakeries specialize in making a traditional Iranian nun. We call them sangak because they're made on stones, and um, stone in Persian is sang, so yeah. My point is that these stones are special because they keep heat in them, and they're good for our oven. Anyways, after placing the tiles around the bricks around the oven, Builder Guy started putting some concrete around the hole of the oven. Ever noticed how Builder Guy's shadow looks like Peter Pan's shadow? I mean, look at it, it has a life of its own and it's working. And it's found itself a friend. Now we have not one, but two independent shadows just traveling around building things. And right now they're helping Builder Guy. Every time they applied their concrete and straightened it out, Builder Guy would use this alignment tool to make sure that everything was straight. I mean, just like I mentioned in our oven wall decoration video, check the card over here. We don't want anything to be crooked. So the tiles needed some trimming, very loudly, like the sound of that thing is terrible. You know that sound when the dentist is drilling your teeth? Yeah, that's that's the sound you hear when you're listening to this with headphones on. So, you're welcome. I cut it out of the video. There really isn't any reason for you to comment down below thanking me for doing this. No reason at all. I mean, it wouldn't make me happy or anything. Next, we covered our normal concrete with some white concrete. There really isn't like a building reason for this. It's purely aesthetic. Unfortunately, Builder Guy's shadow couldn't join us for this one. He was gone helping Bob the Builder's long-lost Iranian twin brother, Hassan Banna. Alright, now we're back with my mom. If you've watched our videos, you know that my mom isn't afraid of experimenting with different things until she figures out what she actually likes doing. So here she's trying out different arrangements to see which one of them she likes. What she does know is that she wants like a sun theme around the oven. For the decoration, we're using antique rocks, which we also used for the wall above the oven. Honestly, these antique rocks all look the same to me. But um, apparently they're not, you know, the same. And that's why they keep changing them. Apparently there's like a height difference. So my mom is trying to pick the one that's the perfect height. I mean, it's kind of adorable. Making the perfect sun. Also, the sun theme works really well for the oven. Because, you know, like sun and heat. And, you know, it's like we have a mini sun in our house. 
After she decided what she wanted to do, she started arranging the rocks with my grandma as the camera woman. So nearly headless Sume might strike again. She put the gloves on to not ruin her nails. Those bricks in the background are proof of my mom experimenting for the wall behind the oven. So have you guys ever seen ovens like this before? If you have, have you made anything with it? So they decided to do a second layer around the edges and my mom experimented with some tiny rocks but in the end she decided that she didn't like them so we don't have those in the final product. Builder guy is trying to fix everything in place by hand but he doesn't have his shadow to help him so my mom saves the day with a hammer. Then they ended everything by applying some white concrete between the rocks. And this is the final product. And here's us making naan over the oven. We had made traditional naan before but this was definitely a new experience. If you want to experience these new things with us, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Me and my mom get up to all kinds of things. And with that I hope you enjoyed this video, like the video if you did, and I will see you next time. Bye!